Coming up next on the Upside Down Show, Zab Mallet shares his story with Freema and Atto. This is Upside Down. I hope you didn't go nowhere, just refilled your cup of juice or your mm-hmm. cup of something. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Right, right, right. And so today we are just celebrating mm. achievements. You know, this gentleman that we are going to be talking to is one huge man. In fact, in um, physical appearance and in works as well, he yeah. is that huge. Yeah. You know, and His he's made some... stretches beyond. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's made some <laughs> huge strides. You know? Now, when I was going through his profile and some of his works, I was amazed because some of the songs, you know, that he created, created. Mm-hmm. until I was young. I'm sure you were not born at the time. Yeah, yeah, no, you know, that's right. I know how you feel. You know, I'm even as, as young as I am, he has actually worked on projects in my era as well. Exactly. You know how he stayed relevant, you know, from way back then yeah. till so today, now. and he is still making it. Yeah. No, let me give you one confession. When I was growing up, mm-hmm. I always thought he wasn't Ghanaian. Oh, is it because of the name? Because of the name. And at that time, a lot of... So he started with gospel music. Yes. And at that time, a lot of the gospel artists, you know, were going to um, Germany to yeah. do their music, music master yeah. it and all. And you always hear names like Buddha Steiger mm-hmm. and all that. And yeah. he didn't have any men sound or, or say or anything. anything like that. His name sounds so foreign, yes. you know. So yes, I always thought, okay, so this man is not Ghanaian. Yeah. Now, when I even realized he was Ghanaian, I felt like... You know, I have some connection. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are celebrating Emmanuel Mallet. You know him popularly as Zap Mallet. Let's give a hand and welcome Zap Mallet as he joins us today on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Yeah. You know how it is like join yeah. fun radio for the people are bringing money. Hello, hello. Ah. Hello. Please have a seat. Thank you. Welcome to the Upside Down Show. Ah, I'm most delighted. I'm most delighted. (laughs) You're such a huge man with huge works. Yeah, yeah. I'm six foot seven. Yeah, that's about two meters. Uh, Yeah, and uh, we're in size 14 and 15. Wow. 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 Yeah, yeah, size 14 (laughs) and 15. Wow. Yeah, so the footprints must be big. (laughs) And they are big. They are very big. Yeah. You know that when I was growing up, I always thought you were um, German. Not even because of your <laughs> name, but because the gospel artists that mm-hmm. you were working with, mm-hmm. you know, I hear Bodo Steiger, okay. Zap Mallet, Bodo Steiger, Zap Mallet. Oh, yeah. And I knew that Bodo Steiger was in Germany. So I kind of figured, well, maybe there's Zap Mallet too. Um, no, 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 no. Zap, Zap Mallet is a Ghanaian living wow. somewhere, somewhere at uh, Mablekuma at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, but I was working at uh, South Udoko or Dan So, <laughs> so Zap Mallet is not a nickname at all? Uh, the Mallet is, is the family name, but okay. Zap, Zap is a nickname I got from school. Okay. You know, then um, in the 70s, in the late 70s to the early, mm-hmm. uh, the disco era, yeah. there was a, a, a group called the Zap Band. Roger, mm-hmm. the Chapman brothers, mm-hmm. and they had a unique style. They were using this vocoder back then. Mm-hmm. You know, the vocoder you hear today was used back, back then. then. Yeah. You know, and it was a, it was a unique sound. You know, mm-hmm. so they intrigued me a lot, and uh, I, 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 I just, I just were following them every time. Mm-hmm. You know, so people were like, "Oh, okay, this guy, there's zap, zap." You know, I picked their name, and mm-hmm. then yeah, you know, so and this is it today. Uh, the rest yeah. is, uh, as they say, so, is, so growing up. How was it like? Tell us about yourself. I mean, how you started, where you grew up from. Well, I, I grew up in Asylum Down. My first decade, you know, uh, was in Asylum Down. Uh, uh, and my father is into electronics, okay. uh, repairing of electronics. So mm. every day I woke up to music. Okay. Yes, to either play. to BBC mm-hmm. or to okay. music, you know. So <laughs> so there was every time music around me. So mm. I, I, I picked it up. And when sometimes he had his customers coming in to, you know, have their things uh, mm. uh, maintained and stuff like yeah. that, you know. So I, I'll pick up their guitars and, you know, okay. be Clean playing them, yeah, playing them and, 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 you know, and, and stuff like that. So... I started getting the the the, the vibes mm. at a very young age, mm. and I'm sure you know my mother would would be very uh, would have been very uh, 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 unhappy mm. because back then you know even today hey Charlie my son mm. has to be a doctor course, has to yeah. be a lawyer yeah, has yeah, to be an yeah, architect has yeah. to be you know so it was a bit worrying for her. Mm. Is she late? She's late. Yeah, long oh, ago, okay. um, and um, uh, and unfortunately, well. 
as 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 it is, it was like I disappointed her. Mm -hmm. oh. Because what, what was she expecting? She was expecting me to be a doctor. Oh. My mom actually was a psychiatric nurse. Okay. okay. Yes, up here at the. You know, down. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and so she wanted me to be a doctor. Seriously, wanted me to be a doctor. Oh. So, and I I disappointed her because I followed my yeah, dream. Okay, I followed yeah. my heart, and unfortunately. She she wasn't around. She couldn't stay around to see and enjoy mm. what her you know. Mm. App and apparently, I'm her only son. Oh. oh, how many siblings do you have? I have two siblings, uh, and uh, my half siblings actually. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and I'm her only son. So obviously, yeah. she was disappointed because mm. you know back then, hey, Charlie, my son, you know, you, you know, you know, like you meet your yeah, friends, you know, when course. they meet their friends, yeah. you know, my yeah. son, my son is in, is, is is into medicine. Yeah, my son is a lawyer. My, yeah. I can't and then you play some guitars and keyboards somewhere. Yeah, man, and I was just walking around Come playing imagine. music, and you know, uh, and obviously, I started from I started from the church. Okay. okay. Yeah, I actually started from the church mostly. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but my gap, my background is really gospel. That's where I started okay. from. So I, from there, then I sat down, I looked at my life, and I said, look, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I looked at myself, and I said, no, I'm not the upfront person. Yeah. I'm not that kind of person who, is, who must have his face on, on, the, scene, out on there, the CD yeah. or on the whatever. Mm -hmm. So rather, let me see what I can do at the back. Okay. okay. To be behind the scenes, mm -hmm. you know. And I had this offer from one, a very good friend of mine, George Aban, mm. from Tema. Mm -hmm. uh, that time we had a studio there called Ark Studios. It was one of the top I studios at that studios. time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> My mom actually um, recorded at Ark Studios. Really? Yes. yes. And, 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 yes. Those days I And came. I used to go to the studios with oh, my mom. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Those days I came all the way from South Africa. That was where I lived. Yeah. I drove, I took a car all the way to mm. Tema. And at that time, Tema wasn't that developed. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can mm -hmm. remember. Yeah. That was in 1991, yeah. 92. Yeah. Tema wasn't really developed. So after picking the car and stopping somewhere, you had to walk mm -hmm. for about another some yeah. set of miles before you get to the yeah. studio. And I did that almost every day, sometimes even going for nights and all that. So that was where I learned and I trained myself mm. and I had the help from Nana Buama, who owned yes. the studio, yeah. to get into studio mm. work. And most of the time, that was where I, I, that was where I even met Dinah Hobson. Mm. Okay. I met her there. Then she was then Dinah. Then I killed me. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then Dinah was pregnant with her first son. Okay. You know, so it was, it was, it was interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, and the rest, they say. Yes, history. <laughs> Within this period of um, you uh, moving from studio to studio mm -hmm. and learning the whole process, was there one person in particular that opened your eyes to actually having this as a profession? No, 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 no. I, my eyes were already opened. Already <laughs> myself. Yes, this is what I wanted to do. So, so yeah. I was just, I was, um, I, I had determined that look. Any studio I go and work in mm -hmm. will, be, will be the top studio okay. at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. then the Zamalek name was all over the place. Yeah. So any studio I went to drew a lot of um, um, clientele. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it, was, it, was, um, it was my own thing that I, I had you determined to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was so determined to, 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 to make a mark or to mm -hmm. make an impact in the, mm -hmm. not just in the industry, but in the country. Generally, yeah. Yeah. with whatever I am doing, what yeah. little I'm doing, yeah. and and people had a certain perception, or I don't know if they still do, you because they it. felt like Zap is that good, and so if you go to him, when he talks, you don't challenge him. Was that the case? Oh well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it happens. Um, you know, you know, uh, arts actually mm -hmm. has a lot of ego involved. Yes. yes. So the, the first person you are dealing with is the artist, mm -hmm. and it comes with his ego. Mm -hmm. When he brings a song, there's an ego attached to it. And sometimes I have to break into Some of them have malleable egos. Mm -hmm. They have very yeah. flexible egos. You can and always, just, but some two are like. This is it means this is some, it. Some granite. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't, yeah. you, you know, so, and sometimes you have clashes like that. Mm. But over the years, um, I've grown to appreciate uh, that a lot that look uh, no matter what it is uh, sometimes you need a fight mm -hmm. the yeah. fight brings out something else something yeah. yes it brings yeah. out you know and, and i've gotten used to it mm. As, uh, at my age now mm -hmm. there is no artist who can annoy me in the studio how of, old are you well do you want me to <laughs> and they say it's women who don't tell their age uh, sometimes to some men who don't tell their age <laughs> if you're part of that some men some men <laughs> <laughs> but I, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm in my mid-50s. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, 
You want to know my age? Uh -huh. Okay. Um. <laughs> don't give us any mathematical don't, equation. Oh, don't give us any instance in those times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I was born in 1964, so calculate. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. 50... 54. 56? No, no. Yeah. 56? Yeah. 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 No, my maths is that good, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, you remember the very first production you did? No, that's the one question I've never, I've never been able to answer. I can't remember. Really? I can't yes, remember. You don't even remember the artist? No, no, no. I can't remember my first kiss. Mm. I mean, in terms of music. <laughs> I'm going to prove that. No, 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 no. In terms of music, I can't really? remember. Um, mm. it's, it's, it's been a while. 19, I, I'm talking about 90, 1990, there about. Yeah. Um, so now. Yeah, yes, yes. How long should it be? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's about 40. So you should know. I mean, 36 you know. years old. From 1990 till now? Yeah. Oh, that mm. should be like about roughly 30 years. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, or more. Yeah. 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 Now, one observation I've made is you know, usually when you hear music, you hear the signatures of the, mm -hmm. the artists, um, the, the engineer, the you know, engineer, the, the, yeah. the people you hear who MOG do, music, the, you, you and hear stuff like that. appear to, mm -hmm. you hear mm -hmm. links, mm -hmm. you hear this, but you don't put your name on the productions Production. that you work on. Is it I, intentional? I, I, I put. I put. Okay. So what, what it do you put silent. There? So, oh. what is it? We, it's silent. You is don't it a scratch? You don't hear anything. It's silent. So, so how do because we tell that this is Zap's work? When you hear my production, when you hear my, my work, my handiwork, you can yeah. always tell. Let, let me just break the ice to <laughs> our viewers watching us now. <laughs> Zap Mallet was on one of Sakode's recent um, works. That's mm -hmm. his party yeah. and BS. Yeah. yeah. That's a hit. Zap Mallet was on that record. And uh, um, you know this song uh, with Round Town? Uh, there's a song like that. Still suck with with Rantown? No, 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 no. Uh, Rantown himself. And, and uh, Nasty C? No, Mad no. over you? Um, I've forgotten the song. He had a producer on it who was about 47 or 48 years. Wow. Yes, yes. So um, I think music, you see, one thing we have, music, you can play music that doesn't have any age of retirement. Mm. <laughs> but how have you been able to stay that relevant, yeah. you know? And still from way back that's... then, and you're still producing hit songs. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think it's, it's, it's all from the heart. Okay. It's, it's from the heart. It's the heart that follows yeah. the, the work you're doing. I keep telling people today that, look, the problem we are having today, that mm -hmm. you, the problem we're having today, you realize that today, when a song comes out in three months, six months, it's gone. It's, yeah. You know, we're on a, we're on a conveyor belt yeah. now. Yes. Because... People are just looking for hits. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are not looking for songs. They are not yes. writing songs yes. anymore. Yeah, people are just looking for hits, yes. and hits can be anything. A hit can be anything. Yeah. Yeah. you can just play a beat, beat, do some chant on it, and, and that's it. You, you do your and rap. We are having motion. those now. Yes, yeah. and then you, you and then you are suddenly you're a hit, and within a few months it's passed. Mm. Yeah, but if you write a song, tell me songs that we have heard from um, the seventies. 80s, 90s, and are still relevant. Like Westlife, you hear yeah. them. Westlife yeah. were in the yeah. 90s, right? Yeah. But we, I hear 21 year olds, 20 so year olds still singing Westlife. Yeah. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. it's 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 my my problem is that or my my thing is that me when I'm doing it, I I just do it because I'm trying to have fun on it. Mm. I'm trying to when I was doing um, Sikaba, for instance, for Lord Kenya. Yeah. Mark came, to Mark Okriku yeah. back then. He came yeah. to me. He was like, okay. Let's do this thing for this commercial, this tall, gangly guy from. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay. Yeah. Then we had done um, one single first, Carnaba. Uh -huh. Okay. Was it Carnaba? Or so I, I remember. I can't. I can't remember the song. Was it Driver Suzuko? No, no, no. Driver Suzuko was even later. Later. So we. So he brought me and and I and I did a. a well, I just did some beats. Actually, the beat on that song was not the original beat. Oh. But I just did something. And then he came to rap. And then when he rapped, you know, commercial guys can't stay in a crowd. Yeah, they had then to go back. He had to go back, so he left. And then when he left, it was time for me to mix. I just sat down. I said, oh, okay, let me just have fun. Mm. Yeah. And we did. So I sat down. I said, okay, there's this song by Cool and the Gang in mm -hmm. the 80s called Stepping Out. Mm. So I just picked it and then just started playing it. And then I, add, I was adding layer adding by layer, layer mm. by layer. Before I realized, I just came up with it, and wow, you know, so I wasn't looking for like I was doing Chai Wei, I said, Hey, too, mm. this one there must be a hit. Mm. No, 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 mm. I just do it to enjoy what I'm so, doing. When mm. I was working with, working with Reggie, I was doing the same thing. I'm not doing a song because I want a hit, yeah, I'm desperate, desperately in need of a hit. Mm. No, I want to do it so that I enjoy it, and when I enjoy it, I know 
whoever mm. listens to it yeah. will enjoy it. Yeah, and of course, I mean, Sikaba is one music one that them. is ever yes. green. It yes. will never ever see, die. Not uh -huh. even when Lord Kenya says he has repented. <laughs> Because we will yeah, still jam to... The music has not repented. No, and we are still jamming to Sikaba. We still jam to it. And yeah, um, we call it the rare artist. Absolutely, it's necessary, you know. So, I mean, this is Sikaba, you know, from way back then. Do you mm. remember when, the year you recorded this? Uh, I, I hope I'm very bad with years. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what, what was going through your mind when you were putting this together? Did you do the beats before Kenya came over to record? I did, like I said, I did a certain beat first. Mm. And then he came to do his rap on it. It wasn't this, actually, it wasn't this wow. beat. He came to do his beat, and then, you know, with his, you know, Kenya is aggressive with his aggression and mm. all that behind the mic and, yeah. you know, the rap. I listened to it and I said, no, mm. this thing deserves some, something that is kind of um, pulsy, that yeah. something with a pulse. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it just like will a, drive you. More, yes, yes. A faster tempo. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah, you know, mm. uh, something that, that, that must have pulse. Yeah. It must mm -hmm. pump, you know. And I, I, I sat down. And I just went through my mind. Mm -hmm. I, I just ruffled through my mind, and, and then came I came up, up with that. Mm. Sometimes, you know, creative people, we hallucinate. We hallucinate. Mm -hmm. Yes, creative people mm. are actually people who are a little bit thinky in there. Mm. Because when you sit down and you hear a song, you keep hearing things. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You hear things, and then you hear, mm -hmm. okay, the beat, okay, and the bass must. Okay. Mm, that's how yeah, it is like, and then you start creating. Mm, so I mm. was has, actually I was hallucinating <laughs> that so, day. So when you are creating, what do you look out for? Do you look at the personality? You look at the yes. voice or something? So how are you able to um, create something for, for instance, Lord Kenya, and create something else for Reggie Rockstone? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the artist, like you said, yeah. um, the artist uh, gives gives to you. Yeah, uh, you, they're all, you, they're all. Yes, and then you also pick after the artist has performed and mm -hmm. everything in, and recorded. You also pick from the artist's performance. You pick inspiration from the artist's performance. Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, there yeah. are some artists who, after they have finished their performance in a studio, you you can't draw. Any, there's no inspiration mm. because of their performance. You don't don't get inspiration to add to what you are so, doing. Yeah. But there are some who can give you. The then, yeah. And then there are, there, there are those two who are like, okay, man, go ahead and do what you want to yeah. do. And there are those who are like, do it that way, do it this, this way. way. Yeah. I want it that way, I want it that way. They kind of get into the way. Mm -hmm. mm. With the creative process. Yes, with the yeah. creative process, because they don't allow me to be myself. Yeah. Mm. And so they come, and at the end of the day, I, I don't know if I've said this before, but probably this is the first time, this mm -hmm. is a premiere. Mm. But Thank most, you. But most of the time, my hits have all been hits that I've worked, have all been tracks that I've worked on independently, free from... Any block, any, creative any, block from the yes, artist. Yes, any, any interruption mm. Or, mm. Or, or disruption from the artist. Right, so wow. I'm, I'm going to be mentioning some artists mm -hmm. and then you give me those tracks. Those tracks. So let's look at uh, maybe the works of Reggie Rockstone. Which track would you say that, yeah, I mm. really did this? Oh, Red Rock Red Stones, Red Rock Stones yeah, experience was so very yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love Reggie. I love, yeah. um, and uh, Reggie doesn't know, but his father was very, very good to me. His okay. father was very, we and me and his dad were so close. Mm. Ricky, Ricky, yeah. Ricky could call me, Zap, I want to see you tomorrow. Please yeah. come. By, by seven o'clock, I moved from home. By eight o'clock, I mean, uh, Ricky Osei's house, yeah. just to chat with him about hip life. Mm. Then mm. we're developing the concept. So that, that's that's the, yeah. the, the genesis of hip yes. Life. The yeah. father, the fa the man was involved in the hip life thing. A lot of people wow. don't know. Mm. But me and him would go and mm. sit down and talk for hours, talking about how he wants to, you know, develop his son, uh, how okay. he wants to develop his music and all that. How old was Reggie at the time when you were going to his father's house? Oh, Reggie, Reggie is a bit older than me. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, Reggie's, I think, about my age. Okay. About, yes. wow. okay, so he was a full he was, grown yeah. man already. He was a full blown okay. human okay. man. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, there's, there's <laughs> a conversation about uh, Reggie Rockstone being the, the start of um, hip life music. That thing again. And uh, I, I mean, hear, I mean, hear, yes, and then here. Just let it remain there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hearing the story now, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's got more people involved. Zap, you were there. You were mm -hmm. having a discussion with his mm -hmm. father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you hear word, stuff like that, how how do you that feel? That word exactly. Yeah. The word hip life. Well, you see, the point is that I'm 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 a person who doesn't like to take too much glory for himself. Yeah, yeah. That's how I am. Yeah. Uh, for me, I keep telling people that look, wherever it is, or well, whoever brought it. 
we've, we've, we've been able to develop our own genre. Mm. Mm. Whoever brought it, yeah, it could be. It could have been a Chinese who brought it. it could have been a, a, mm. a, a Brazilian who brought it. But once it was born and bred here in Ghana, yeah, okay let's let's it. just enjoy it mm. and right. stop. Yes, right. and stop that kind of. Uh, I brought it I and I brought it. it. What are you brought? It, you brought it. What are you going to get out of it? Mm. You understand? Or is it something that you trademark that you are going to collect money on it? Okay, then that's the case. Then let's all get involved so that we all collect the money. Some. Mm. But at the end mm. of the day, my. Um, uh, uh, my interest or my happiness is that we've developed a new brand of music mm -hmm. and let's all enjoy it let's all get into it mm. and right now we have everybody now jumping to it, yeah. and, you know yeah. swimming <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you mentioned, you, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> very interesting, you know. Very, yeah. very, very. Maybe our children will also grow up to yes, yes, release yes, up yes. singles and all. Yeah. So you started, you know, as a Chris. Mm -hmm. Person, you know, yeah, doing I'm a crip. all with just your stuff I'm a crip. and all. You still are. I'm a creep, but the thing but is you, that you, you switched. You started. I didn't, did switch. I didn't switch. Switch. Okay, the music switched. Yeah, but the music it doesn't switched. Mean that I stopped. I still do gospel. Yes, you still I still do, do a, so a little, you, a few, you know, but it doesn't mean that I switched. Okay, so did you start with gospel? And yes, then I started, moved to hip life. Or? I started with gospel, and I thought I, I thought that gospel was just going to just limit me, mm. Mm. but I wanted to. You know, swim in the wider ocean. I, don't, mm. I didn't want to just swim in a pond. Yeah. Mm. Yes, okay. I wanted to mm. go into the wider mm. ocean, and I thought it was more challenging. Mm. I went with Getty and friends. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Helena Rabbles, Hannah Marfo, Nana and Dan. Okay. Susie and Matt. Susie and Matt. Yeah. Did you yeah. work with Tego Sisters? Yes, I worked with Tego mm. Sisters in 1989 in London. Wow. <laughs> wow. Which, which song did you do? Um, Stay in my heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, they, they had a praise song too. I can't remember. Anyway. All right. but, but you also worked with Francis AJ? Yes, I, yes, mm. I worked with Francis AJ. I was blown away when I heard mm. that. Yeah, you Francis AJ's story is very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, we, at that time, I was at CHM, mm -hmm. uh, Mataiko. And he came in the studio. He came, he said he wanted to record. I said, no problem. Yeah. So I took what I had to take. <laughs> I took what I had to do, but it wasn't that much because mm. he, had, he had just come in, he was like some young guy, and I said, Okay, no problem. Mm. So we started the work, we were going on, we were going on, and then at a the point, he came very looking dejected, mm. looking very morose, very. Mm. And that time I was busy, you know, the, the studio was upstairs, yeah. and so I went upstairs and I came downstairs, he was still sitting there. After a while, I came downstairs, he was still sitting around, and he looked very fall off and I I told him I said what's happening he said oh at that time some people wanted to help him mm. to do the album but they had rescinded their decision because they said there was no money and blah 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 mm. and I put my arm around him I told him that don't worry we'll finish this album okay wow. then we went on and finished it and it became a hit yeah. wow. and you could you believe it the night I was mixing this song I was sleeping Oh, <laughs> it was I worked in the night. Then I could work in the night. Mm -hmm. I could work in the morning. I'll close at six, go back to work at nine. Mm. Yes, nine ten in the night. Close another morning at dawn, five or six. Go home, wear rest, and then come back to work at ten in the morning. Because mm. you were doing all the work. Yeah. You it know, was just you. Yeah, at that time I had the strength. I was a young yeah. lad, you know, this big guy with all the. So you can sing some of these songs. No, 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 no. As for that one, dear, oh. if, if 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 you ask me, I'll disappoint you <laughs> and disgrace myself. So, so maybe you can do the key, but I can sing the yeah, just one part or two. for you. I mean, you can do some one see, or two. See, uh, uh, it's been a while since I played this thing because um, I've not been too well. Actually, people don't know this. What's secret. wrong with you? Um, I, I, do you know? I had a. a uh, is this is this being recorded? <laughs> yes. Is this being recorded? Yes. It's, it's, it's a secret. Though. It's my history. No, this upside down. No, we fine. turn fine. everything upside down. I had, I had a problem. Oh. I I I had a. Uh, I can't even say it. I had a vessel burst in my head. I Are should have serious? died. Yes. When was this? Two years ago. I should have died. Wow. The doctors even couldn't believe it. A vessel just went in my mm. head. And what did they say was wrong? And it healed. That was around Daninetti's funeral. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I was walking around, didn't know that this thing had happened. Wow. So how did you know there was something wrong? It was when I went to the hospital uh -huh. and they did a scan. That was when they realized that this had happened and it had healed by itself. Mm. 
You serve the living God. Amen. Praise to God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. So you haven't been on the keys for over two years now. Well, I, 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 what I do usually, I do in the studio thing. Kind I think of, it's our click, click. Yeah, and then I work on a step right and all that. No, but you have that mallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to do something. I'll try. You Play you anything, try. anything, anything. It, just anything. anything. So Even ladies and gentlemen, we'll this is Zach the Mallet <laughs> taking over the key oh, and you're going to show us something, yeah. Oh, it's off. Just turn it no, off. No, yeah. Um, there's this particular song. Oh, this thing takes time. Oh. <laughs> no, we have time for you. Should I turn on the phone? Yeah. Maybe I might love. 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 Oh, that's what he was singing. Maybe I might love. Yeah. Yes, I don't go. Maybe I don't go. Pane da we. Pane da we. I don't go. Pane da we. Pane da we. I don't go. Pane da we. And you actually worked on um Pane da we, right? Yes, I worked on we do. Um, I worked on we do. Uh, I did big dreams. Yeah, with Wuta. Wuta, with Wuta. yeah, I went on with Dean yeah. with Prayer. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a very interesting experience. And wow. I and have... Samini, mm -hmm. oh, Dagati, yeah, Dagati okay. album mm. with the movement and all that. Mm. I did that stuff. Wow. Yeah, you worked with Rexoma. Yeah, I worked with Rexoma. So, so I think the question should be, who, who haven't you worked, worked with? with? Oh, I, I haven't worked with a lot of people, you know. But, but I, like I, somebody asked me that question, I said Zap Malet can do everything. Yes. Yeah. Some people have to do other yeah. others, mm. you know. So, uh, but do you, uh, anybody in the new generation that you're looking forward to working with? Uh, well, I've worked with Sarko there. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've, anybody, any Who, of them. Who are yeah. you looking forward to? Like somebody that like Shatawali. <laughs> <laughs> Shata, you head. Yeah. Zamal says, "Come to the studio. Find your way no, to no, the no. studio." No, no, no. I'll mail him. You know, these days yeah. um, we work with the mail. The mail uh, the, the, system. The, 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 yeah, yeah. the data system works a lot. Um, like now, I'm working on a, on a certain um, guy, a reggae guy from Australia. Okay. okay. You know, so you can imagine sometimes when we are communicating, you know, Australia is how many hours ahead of us? Yeah, it's like nine, yeah, nine hours. Long. So sometimes, yeah. sometimes when we are communicating, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, when he's up, I'm sleeping. Yeah, when exactly. I'm sleeping, he's, he's up, up and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, but uh, so sometimes, uh, so, so that's how it is. We work a lot with um, the internet. Mm. He mails me the files and yeah. I do it. And then, you know, that's what it is. This year you jumped on CTTV's keyboard mm -hmm, idol. Mm -hmm. And what's the experience so far? Oh, it's, 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 it's been... For, for, uh, for first, I say I'm touched mm -hmm. um, to see all these kids. Yeah. For, 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 for me, at a point, I thought we were losing mm. it when it came to mm -hmm. the instruments yeah. and stuff like that. I thought yeah. we were losing it because mm -hmm. a lot of the kids want to be up front. Mm -hmm. They yeah. want to be seen yeah, as, exactly. a, as the oh, ones singing. The yes, yes, the singing, the singers, the rappers and all mm -hmm. that. So I thought we were losing it at that early age. Mm -hmm. uh, but now... Uh, at least I'm, I'm happy to have seen them yeah. coming up to take up f from other from where the next generation will also live. Yeah. The, the generation is coming up to mm. take it up from there. So I'm very, very happy to be part of it, actually. Mm. And it's been very, very uh, sweet so far. Yeah. Right, so let me put you on the spot. <laughs> you have produced so amazing sounds. I mean, so many of them. Mm -hmm. Can you mention, like, top of your head, 20 of your best productions? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. One. Coco. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mhm. Mm um, Radio Rock Stone. Um, yeah. Nightlife in Accra. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chobui. Uh -huh. uh, what else? Ago. Oh. Ago. Yes. <laughs> Ago. Give me. Yeah. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> so come to um, Lord Kenya. Lord Kenya. Sikaba. Sikaba. Uh, Drama Sukho. Mm -hmm. uh, the works. The works. Mm -hmm. Achami. Yeah. Masanaba. Masanaba. I'm uh, sorry for quadrants. Did you work with TH for Quadges? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, TH for Quadges. Uh, ah, oh. oh TH, yes. When you want to watch this. Yes, when we, I took, I, you know, I took a sample uh -huh. from Fela. Yeah. Okay. I mm -hmm. took a, just a four bar mm -hmm. sample, mm -hmm. a one bar sample, four okay. piece sample from Fela. And then. So then Michael Jamna. Michael Jamna Ngozi. Uh huh. Uh, Nana Kwame. Nana Kwame. 
Yeah. Uh, Atiago Atiago Kofi, Kofi B. Odo Shock, Kofi B, Mobrowa. Uh -huh. So Susie and Matt? Susie and Matt, I've forgotten their song. Yehoa. I can't remember. Yeho <laughs> I can't remember. Take off from Yanko Paul, Tiasi and Para, that. And then uh, Samini mm -hmm. movement. Yeah. Obra for Obra for um uh uh Ugu Seku and uh, the other one. Asem Sebe. Asem okay. Sebe. Okay. Yes. All right. And then yes. Samini. Samini movement. Mm, uh, yes. Wuta. Uh, Wuta. Uh, big, dreams. big dreams. And uh, the other one. Uh, Maybe the latest one, Sako, there you work on that. Yes, project yes. As well. <laughs> big dreams. Yes. Uh, Wuta, they have this song. Kotosa. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a slow song. Mm. It's a slow song. Uh, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Maybe if, if, if it comes to mind now. Then Michael it. Jabina. Ingozi, yes. Ingozi, yes. Ingozi, we did Ingozi. No, you are a superstar. You are amazing. <laughs> and I'm glad that we are celebrating you yes. whilst you are still here yeah, to I'm, take I'm so, all the compliments. I'm, no. I'm so thankful to God. At least I'm alive and, yeah. health, and healthy. I'm well. Yes, yes. I'm very well. After the experience I went through, you know, which put me in the hospital for about a week, yeah. uh, they had to monitor me and make sure my blood yeah. pressure went mm -hmm. down. down. Wow. But you know, all these things happen because of stress. Yeah. Uh, we have an industrial stress, you mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes we, we, things become so hard yeah. and it so is. sometimes so tight mm. just because uh, we, we, we don't get what we are supposed to get. Yeah. Yeah. But all in all, we are so privileged, you yes. know, as Ghanaians, first and foremost, to have somebody like you, I mean, writing your name. And yeah. I think that we will celebrate you properly someday well thank you very much Zach my pleasure, my pleasure for being coming here. and uh, at least now we know um the person behind most of the tunes that we enjoy i love the tegu sisters and i yeah. love lord kenya and i'm glad i know you too because you are I'm, the I'm, 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 delighted. I'm delighted all right ladies and gentlemen thank you it's been another wonderful show yep. this has been upside down on city tv my name is Premier Dinami. and my name is atukwamna stay safe <laughs>